have a special surprise. I've got somebody to help me review Tom McDonald's White Trash song. We watched the video, the video didn't tape, but I conned him into doing a review with me. So now y'all get to meet the husband. Bless his heart and you can send condolences. Just write them down below. Okay, we just did a whole reaction to Tom McDonald's White Trash, and guess what? I don't know where it went, but it didn't end up on my camera. And he's not too happy about it. But I've conned him into at least doing a little talk about what we just watched, because we are basically Appalachia White Trash. So I guess we're qualified to speak on the topic, don't you think? Yeah. Man, a few words. I'm telling you, that's why I talk. He doesn't talk at all, so I talk for the both of us. My lumberjack hubby. I conned him into doing this little video with me. He watched Tom. You liked Tom's video, right? It was okay. It was okay. And he's familiar with Tom because I listen to Tom. You listen to Tom when I listen to Tom. The neighborhood listens to Tom when I listen to Tom. I think one of the reasons he liked it because it had the bad words bleeped out. He, he enjoyed that, didn't you? Yeah, makes okay. it better. Makes it better. So one of the things that I wanted us to do was watch it and pick out the Appalachia things, the white trash things that probably nobody else would pay attention to. He actually picked out a couple of good things. What were they dancing on? School bus. It was an old model school bus. I thought it was a Winnebago until he pointed out that you could see the actual school bus door and that people convert them all the time and that maybe why it's missing windows now. People use them for like they turn them into like deer camp campers, mobile houses, even with Wood, wood stoves inside around here. So that was a good catch on his part. In the end, when Tom talked about the axe handle, he's gonna waste an axe handle on somebody, um, he chimed in and said, you know, that wouldn't be something that anybody that was probably real, real, real white trash would do. Because why? Too expensive. Axe handles are expensive and they're hard to find good ones, aren't they? Yeah. Not many people make them anymore. They don't make them the old ways. They pre-manufacture them. Not, they don't last as long, do they? You want a, a good homemade one from somebody that knows what they're doing. So probably wouldn't waste an axe handle, hoe handle, any kind of handle on anybody. I'd probably get more inventive than that. And I guess you're probably more qualified to talk on that than most people because you, you still cut a lot of wood with an axe. And bust a lot of wood with an axe. So, uh, he knows. He keeps an axe in his truck all the time. But I noticed what was behind Tom by the door. It looked like they was at a general store. It didn't look like a house. It looked like an old general store or an old post office with a flat front and an odd roof. I don't know what it was. If anybody knows, let me know down below. But did you see what was hanging behind him on the door that most people would probably think was a pitchfork, but it wasn't? Did you see that? Yeah. And what was it? Tater fork. It's a tater fork. And we know it's a tater fork because it has what? Three prongs. Three prongs. It has three prongs because when you dig your taters, you don't want to use a pitchfork because a pitchfork will spear all your taters. You want to use a tater fork because you ruin less of your taters that way and you get them put up and you don't ruin them. A lot of people probably wouldn't know that. Now, I didn't much care for Tom's overalls because we don't see a lot of people that wear overalls like that around here, do we? No. And when, when, when they cut their overalls off, we call that... Air conditioning. Air conditioning. Or they leave their top button un undone. If you ever listen to Jerry Clower about Marcel Ledbetter, you're going to understand that one completely. But, you know, as Appalachia White Trash, I enjoyed the song. I'm, I'm glad that somebody spoke up about us, that they understand that we do have hearts of gold. But I, I don't know if I'm completely won over by, I don't know, by the entire song. It's not my favorite Tom song. My favorite Tom song is... Probably buttholes um, for castles. And I don't think you have a favorite Tom song, do you? No. Just out of curiosity, what is your favorite music? I listen to pretty much anything, but about it. When you get into my Jeep and turn on the radio sometimes, are you scared? Yeah. <laughs> I am. I'm a metalhead. You never know what might happen. You don't. It's pretty loud, too. Yeah, I think I'm going yeah, deaf. Yeah, it's always loud. I think I'm going deaf. So he watched this. He enjoyed it. He is about as country as you can get. So there's a different perspective. But we noticed a lot of stuff they put in the video. Tips to Nova for putting the sprinkling those little things to the video for us to catch and for us 
to go, oh, we know what that is and we know how it's used. Um, I just didn't like his wardrobe. Now, Mad Child, I think that was his name, Mad Child, he's tiny, so I guess Mad Child is appropriate. Um, did you expect his voice to come out of his head? No. I expected him to have like a thug voice and he sound, I don't know, I just wanted to pat his head and give him a lollipop. I mean, I wanted to check on him and make sure he was okay and that he was tall enough to ride the rides. That's how I kind of felt about that. But now he looked mean. You think you'd be scared of somebody like that if you came up to him in public? No. No. <laughs> Considering you're probably about a foot taller, I wouldn't be scared either. <laughs> A lumberjack hillbilly perspective on white trash. It grow on me. It grow. You'll probably hear it a lot in the next few weeks. I'll probably be playing it quite a bit just to get used to it. I won't be here. <laughs> so it's okay if I listen to it. Yep. Uh, I'll eventually transition him into rap, rock, and metal. I swear to happen. No. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll keep trying. Okay, now y'all have met the hubby. Now y'all know why I talk so much. Somebody's got to. Yep. <laughs> See you.